Hello, Facebook, YouTube. The day of um, Barachel, the archangel, God is our, uh, of the blessed by God, angel. No, not uh, Saturn. He's a false god, acknowledging false gods on God's days. All right. On the topic of this message, um, uh, yes, um, well, the end of Hanukkah is Monday night. It's the end of Hanukkah. Just want to let you know that. Uh, oh, Shabbat Shalom. Today's the Sabbath. And I, uh, and I, um, I, uh, looked up uh, on a Jewish calendar and it shows the ideal pattern that the new moon was Thursday and the and it, the Sabbath is today well last night to today and I was reminded of the scripture of Isaiah 66 and 23 that talks about to new moon to another and to a Sabbath to another that you know that everybody pretty much it will people will worship the Lord something like that that pattern now what's interesting about that that pattern is on Hanukkah you know what I'm saying see what I'm saying that the pattern of that you know uh scripture is on Hanukkah the uh eight days of Hanukkah because it's gonna um it's gonna be on a new moon new moon was Thursday and Friday night is of course the sabbath friday night to saturday morning is the sabbath that pattern is happening so when is the fulfillment well maybe at the end of hanukkah if you're following the word of god but the topic of this message that i want to talk about is the idea of that i did a video about on god christ to the masses about taking the uh talk about the birth of Jesus Christ um more but he was not born on December 25th um but you know I want to talk about the reality of receiving uh receiving a message well well receiving a simple message from God that's what it is receiving a simple message from God. But can we receive a simple message from God? As you know, the story of um uh, in Luke 1 talks about Zacharias, uh, the husband of Elizabeth, was a uh, and it says here in uh, Luke 1 and 7 that and they had no child. Um, no, no. Uh, sorry, Luke, Luke one and five. That it talks about that you know uh, that the certain man Zachary's name is of course of being uh, and her and his husband was of the daughter of Aaron, and name was L Elizabeth. That Elizabeth had a uh, a bloodline, you know what I'm saying? Elizabeth had a bloodline to Aaron. That's quite interesting. Um and of course it says that Elizabeth was bearing uh was bearing and they both were strict strict well in years that they were old too old to have kids, you know. Remember that story, you know, Abraham well Abram and Sarai was too old to have kids. Yeah. But uh Zacharias was a high priest, pretty much. Um, uh, now an angel, the Gabriel, angel Gabriel comes, I'm paraphrasing, because when I read the scriptures, it get, I guess my messages get long. But uh, uh, the, the Zach, Zacharias is a, a priest in the temple, and he served a priest's office, and all, all of a sudden, Gabriel comes up to uh, Zacharias and tells her him that you know it says for he uh, the, and 
Let me see. And oh, it says, but the angel, okay, but the angel said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayers is heard. That your prayers was heard, you know, from heaven. And thy wife, Elizabeth, shall bear thee a son, and thou shalt name call the son John, and thou shalt have joy, gladness, and many shall rejoice at his birth, for he shall be great in the eye in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, and he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, filled with the Holy Ghost. Even from his mother's womb. That's hey. And many of the children of Israel shall ye turn to the Lord their God. And he shall go go before him in the the spirit and the power of Elias to turn the hearts of fathers to the of children and the disobedience to the wisdom and the just shall to make ready a people prepare for the Lord. And guess what? Zechariah had the nerve to say, being a priest, being of the temple, you know what I'm saying? He said unto the angel, he, he said unto the angel, no, now that's when it's going to get complicated. He's going to say unto the angel, you know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. The angel gave the a message to you. You receive the message and say, okay, all right, that's going to happen. You just, you're just simply receive the message. Okay. And, okay. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm getting my, uh, is Elizabeth is going to have a baby named John. Okay, I received that message. Well, watch this. And Zachary said unto the angel, Whereby shall I know this? For I am a man, an old man, and my wife well stricken in years. I'm like, I'm like, wait a minute. I know this uh, Zacharias read the uh, Torah, that Torah, the story of Abram, Abraham and Sarai was well stricken in years and they had a child, the promised child, Isaiah, is through Isaiah, the, you know, children of Israel, I mean, Isaiah and, you know, Jacob is where the whole ideal of the children of Israel come from. I, I think Zacharias knew that scripture. Now, and the angel answered him in the ninth verse, answer, the angel answering said unto him, I am Gabriel. Why, why does Gabriel got to tell him tell him his name? Okay, I'm just keeping real on it. That stand in the presence of God and am sent to speak unto thee to show thee these glad tidings. This is glad tidings. It's kind of like this situation. It's kind of like telling a person that, you know, you know, the American publish in clearinghouse sweet states coming up to your door and say, you won a million dollars. And it's like, you know, they were saying, how I won a million dollars when I'm broke? You know, somebody say, like, how can I win a million dollars and I don't got no money? You know, it's kind of like this. You know what I'm saying? Is that ridiculous? You know, uh, they're giving you money from the millions of dollars from the public house, publishing house sweet states that you can have money. This what the ideal Abraham, I mean, uh, Gabriel came to Zacharias in that. And he's like saying, you know, I'm straight in years and, da, 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 and, and giving them glad tidings. Now, it says, and behold, thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed because thou believest not my words which shall be fulfilled in their season. I mean, Gabriel had to, sh you know, shut this guy up because he doesn't know what he's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Concerning a clear, uh, good tidings. I mean, Gabriel didn't say that, you know, uh, he's going to judge, you know, his uh, uh, Zacharias and give him a, disease or anything. No, he gave him great tidings of say, hey, guess what? Your wife is going to have a child. His name is John. You know what I'm saying? Wonderful. Thank, oh, thank God. I mean, you think, okay, this is going to happen? Well, praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, you know? I mean, you know, praise the Lord or something. I mean, 
That should be the protocol. But here's the thing about Zacharias. He is of the priesthood, and the priesthood at that time period was very corrupted, ran by the Sanhedrin of pretty much Caiaphas. You know, kind of like, you know, well, Caiaphas eventually will run. I don't know if he's running it right now. Probably a young man in the Sanhedrin at this time because this is, you know, long time ago. Well, he's, you know, in charge of the, the, uh, the Pharisees and Sadducees. So that's what, you, you know, why pretty much this performance can pretty much happen that he will not receive the, just receive it. Glad tidings. These are, I mean, angel, Gabriel said, these are glad tidings. Just receive and say, yay, I got a son. You know what I'm saying? Not, well, my, my, I'm stricken with old age. I'm stricken. My wife's stricken. So, and it's a sad situation because, that's the idea of Abraham and Sarah is what uh, situation that begotten the children of Israel. But that's another message. Okay, now let's go to Mary. Mary, um, uh, so okay, now uh, Gabriel goes to Mary in the, you know, in the 30, oh, 30, 30 verse, yeah, 30 verse, and the angel said unto her, um, fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a child and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great and, you know, shall be called the son of the highest. And the, and the Lord thy God shall give thee unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever of his kingdom there shall be no end i mean all this good stuff that you know gabriel is giving mary a simple young woman and then mary said unto the uh, angel how shall this be seeing i knew not a man now here's what i like about the situation here's some mary a simple woman now this is you know, you will think more different, complicated situation, you know, maybe, a, it, well, and I don't know if Mary, or in that time period, most people did not read the Torah and stuff like that, but of course there was a story of Hannah, you know, Hannah prayed for, a, you know, a child and got sin, you know, I don't know if she ever heard that, you know, message or something, but the thing is, Mary is just a simple uh, young lady in this situation. And the thing is, she asked a simple question that, you know, uh, that should make sim simple sense that how can I have a child and I don't have a, no, not a man. And then the angel gave him instructions and said, and the angel's answer said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come unto thee in the power of the highest shall overshadow thee therefore also that holy thing which is be born of thee shall be called the son of god and and you know just giving you the simple stuff and behold thy cousin elizabeth that elizabeth was her cousin um she had she had also conceived a child her son in her old age and this is the sixth month which her and so, who was called barren for with God nothing shall be impossible. I mean that right there with God nothing shall be impossible right there and watch Mary behold thy hand meaning I mean Mary said behold thy hand meaning of the Lord be it unto me according to thy word and the angel depart from her. She's just received it. Just simply receive Jesus Christ inside of us. Now, why I want to talk about this? Well, it's, see, and here's the thing about religion. Religion will not simply receive a message from heaven. That I, you know, keep talking about this religious system that is going on in this church system, unfortunately. That they that they are they will not receive the word of God. Well, more likely they will not follow the word of God. Even the word of God that is 
in the scriptures. As well, you know that Paul said, you know, 2 Timothy uh, 4, it talks about men will not endure sound doctrine. They shall heed themselves as teachers of itchy ears, believing fables and not the truth. I mean, right there shows you that, unfortunately, because of a religious system, that people will not, I mean, a religious system will not receive a simple message of God. And the key thing, why they won't receive it? Because it's simple. That's why. And, you know, I found out, you know, concerning the ideal system of the kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness, that God is about something simple. The kingdom of darkness is about complicating everything. As you see, our world is so very complicated. It is caught up in confusion, conflict, and chaos and all kind of nonsense. But the kingdom of God is simple. You know, it's a simple idea of that, that Gabriel showing the simplicity of giving good tidings to uh, Zacharias and Mary. One, Zacharias, you know, got complicated in his, I guess, his theology or theology. I don't know what they call it, the word of God. You know, if he can do it for Abraham and Sarah, he can do it for you and his husband. Duh. But here's simple Mary that, you know, simple woman was ready to receive something for a message from heaven because she had a simple, pretty much a relationship with God is what we need to understand that we, if, if we're truly going to follow the things of God or receive messages of God, we need to be simply receive it and, and follow it and it will fulfill its purpose for what it is, as Mary had Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ fulfilled his purpose, died on the cross for our sins, that we can have a relationship back with the Father again that will save the world. See, a simple message will make an impact that will save the world. But if we keep complicating ourselves in this religious system that is saying everything else, another Jesus, another gospel, another spirit, you know, that says it of second... Um, Corinthians 11 and 3 that we keep complicating ourselves in these another or it says in Ephesians uh, 4 and 14 talks about men way win of doctrine but we keep com you know complicating ourselves in this man may win a doctrine going to and fro and not truly following the simple word of God it will not be no answers a message cannot fulfill the answer that it's supposed to fulfill is what I hope you understand about receiving a simple message. And when you receive it and follow it, you will produce something that will bring true answers for yourself and for others around you. But if you want to complicate yourself, and unfortunately, Zacharias did, Zacharias did, and the simple answer, you'll end up shutting your mouth up until fulfillment comes, I guess. I don't know. All right, that's the message. I hope we got it. I hope it makes it easy. To God be the Lord, him, Father, and Jesus, amen.